Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to another episode. In this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, sugarcane aphids as well as variety selection and how variety selection can play a role in what kind of yield you have and whether or not you need to spray, um, to spray or not to spray for sugarcane aphids in Milo. Uh, so let's get to that video. This is Dynagro M60 GB31. Um, this is a great variety if you're looking to not have to spray for sugarcane aphids. Um, it has a very high tolerance to sugarcane aphids. And I've walked all throughout this field and not been able to find any evidence of sugarcane aphids. Um, the main thing that I would like to point out is that sugarcane aphid presence is dependent mainly upon the time of the year for us here in july is when we typically see the aphids move up into our region um, they do not overwinter here in tennessee so we have to wait till later in the year um, when we start to get the aphids moving into our crops um, the next thing would be variety uh, depending on the variety that you have chosen will greatly determine whether or not you have aphids um, within your field. Uh, once again, Dynagro GB, uh, excuse me, M60 GB31. Great variety if you're looking to not have to spray for sugarcane aphids. There are other varieties that are have a lower susceptible or have a lower tolerance. Pioneer varieties have, have a very low tolerance and are not necessarily a good variety if you're if you're wanting to skip out on an aphid application. The next thing is making sure that you know how to find sugarcane aphids. Sugarcane aphids like to feed on the undersides of milo leaves. So what I like to do is simply flip up leaves every once in a while throughout the field. Um, and this gives me a, you know, a visual view of the underside of the leaf. If we've got any aphids, I should be able to see them. Another way um, of finding sugarcane aphids um, out in this field here today. We don't have a lot of wind, so I should be able to hear anything moving within the field. Just stop ever so often and listen. If you hear buzzing sound, follow your ears, find that buzzing sound. Aphids produce honeydew, which is very attractable to honeybees as well as other insects such as wasps, um, so you, if you can hear a lot of buzzing, chances are you have a lot of honeydew and you have an aphid infestation. Last comment that I want to make is the importance of scouting. Scouting each field is very important, uh, making sure that you walk uh, very far out into each field and always check to make sure that you do not have sugarcane aphids within your field before making the decision to not spray. Uh, sugarcane aphids can cause a lot of problems, especially with harvest. Uh, we'll also see, and I've seen from experience, that if you are delayed within your decision making to spray sugarcane aphids, or you make the decision not to spray at all, and you have a sugarcane aphid problem, you can see uh, problems with heading, delayed heading, or not heading at all. Um, so obviously that is a big factor in yield if you're having issues with heading of any kind. So always make sure to scout your fields regardless of variety 